Hey guys, we have some different generations of Nintendo products here. Um, as you can see, we have a Game Boy Color, we have the Nintendo 2DS XL, you got the old Game Boy Advance SP, and you got the Nintendo Switch, the version one, that's the first one. Um, you know, ever, ever since Nintendo, at least since the Game Boy Color, you know, they built it to withstand um, at least some common common drops as in you know from chest height uh, landing on the corner and still being able to survive nothing crazy like dropping it from a rooftop or something but they built these things extremely sturdy you know that's why they have a long lifespan you know they're still playable they still work this is my original one from when I was a kid when they built the Game Boy Advance SP they still kept kept that uh, um, way of manufacture I guess they, they made it sturdy the screen look how thick the LCD screen is the screen is thin itself but it, this housing is to protect it from drops and they were built very sturdy the 2DS XL is relatively sturdy um, obviously you wouldn't want to drop it open right because then it would uh, <laughs> flip the screen back the wrong way but it would probably survive a drop. Now, my Nintendo Switch, uh, a single drop. Here, let me move this out of the way for you guys because I wanted to show you. It was dropped once, right? And it looks like it's in great shape, right? The problem is, see, this Joy-Con still stays on nice and snug. This one, it comes off with, with even when it's not supposed to. What happened is, let me uh, show you guys the durability of the Nintendo Switch. All right, here's the Joy-Cons on the back. It looks normal, right? So when I zoom in, there's a little clip in there. And you can see this one is not cracked. This one is cracked. Can you see? That little gray thing hiding right in here is shattered that one little piece is what keeps the joy con you know stuck on the switch and this blue one it has a tiny little crack and it broke so now it i can't really hold it in handheld mode because it keeps sliding back off so maybe the switch itself is, is 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 sturdy i don't know but this is a major flaw for the joy cons because this is supposed to keep it secure um, and that one little piece is really what holds your device. I mean, what happens if your device slips out of the Joy-Cons and falls on the floor and shatters the screen? I mean, I think it's kind of an oversight. And I wanted to show, this is more like it's nitpicking at this point, but I still wanted to show the home button. When I got this brand new, when this was new, there's a crack in the home button. I didn't do that. that I, it came like that from the factory. But I know it's kind of nitpicking, but I, I just think that I don't know what the uh, the level of um, durability that the Switch has. This is my first one, and it's not broken broken. It still works. But compared to something like the original Game Boy Color, this thing, I mean, I'm sure, you know, when these things came out, kids were dropping them left and right, and they still functioned, you know? These were made to last, and this is my, my original one. <laughs> that I had since I was what six <laughs> years old um, anyway currently I, I mainly play games on my 2ds XL I gotta still unwrap my uh, Kirby Dreamland but these are all the games I have not to mention the uh, the physical cartridges so anyway I just wanted to show you uh, some different build qualities from the switch um, I know they designed the kickstand to uh, to actually come off, so that's I guess a type of uh, durability, right? Because you can just replace it. Anyway, I know some people down in the uh, where the fan housing is, it can crack because of the heat. So it's like I think Nintendo needs to make sure <laughs> that you know the build quality standards of of, of today can match the build quality standards of yesteryear because they were built really really sturdy so anyway that's all i want to talk to uh guys about so uh thank you for watching and if you like what you see uh, subscribe and I'll, I'll make more of these videos thanks for watching bye bye